Welcome back to another MLB video and we have some breaking news to announce. It's not a huge signing or anything like that, but it's one that comes season's end I feel like could be pretty noteworthy and has the chance to do so as Noah Syndergaard and the Los Angeles Dodgers are in agreement for a one-year deal. Syndergaard kind of signing the prove-it deal with the Dodgers and he feels like the Dodgers is the best place to kind of revitalize his career and get him back into Thor form that he was with the Mets when he was hitting triple digits. Then he had Tommy John, now he's around the 93 to 95 area last year he signed with the angels got traded to the phillies he did pitch some solid innings in the postseason kind of like an opener at some times they'd leave him in for a couple innings and then have a bullpen game but let me know what you guys think about this signing i think it could be noteworthy because of the team that he's going to the los angeles dodgers track record is just so stellar and just unbelievable i feel like he if he went to any other team you just slide him in the back of your rotation as a four or five starter at best and then just hope for the best but with the Dodgers what they can do is crazy it's been an interesting offseason for them they haven't made the splashes as they usually do some people are speculating they could be saving for a big move like an Otani next offseason but they are going to be signing Noah Syndergaard and believe it or not this is their biggest signing of the offseason they've got him they've got Jason Hayward to a minor league contract with an invite to big league spring training but anyways on to what can make Noah Syndergaard good we know he has the potential he was pumping triple digits with the Mets when he went by Thor and then stuff has been harder after Tommy John. But sometimes a couple years removed from Tommy John, you are able to find your stuff back. So that's what the Dodgers are hoping for him. And just looking at their track record, look at last year when they signed Tyler Anderson and Andrew Heaney to one-year deals each. Those were two guys that weren't thought much of. Maybe a four or five starter in the rotation, like you're thinking about Syndergaard now. But those are two guys that just got paid. Andrew Heaney, two years, $25 million to the Texas Rangers. And Tyler Anderson, three years, $39 million to the Los Angeles Angels. Tyler Anderson was good enough to receive the qualifying offer as well. So if they can get Syndergaard back to form, leave it up to the Dodgers to do so. Knowing them, they'll find a way to make him a very quality starting pitcher. He is expected to start the year in their starting rotation. Let me know what you guys think about this. Low risk, possibly high reward. And for Noah Syndergaard, he views this as a place to get his career back on track, revitalize some of the juice they used to have. Let me know what you think about this signing. And are the Dodgers done this offseason or are they still going to make a couple other moves because it seems like they have to.